Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 510 Pressure Vessel Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 5, Inspection, Examination, and Pressure Testing Practices. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 5, as well as reviews of some of the important subclauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the subclauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 5 accompanied by the subclauses. Inspection plans Development of an inspection plan An inspection plan shall be established for all pressure vessels and pressure relieving devices within the scope of API 510. The inspection plan shall be developed by the inspector and or engineer. A corrosion specialist shall be consulted when needed to designate potential damage mechanisms and specific locations where damage mechanisms may occur. Equipment shall be evaluated based on present or potential types of damage mechanisms. The methods and the extent of NDE shall be evaluated to assure that the specified techniques can adequately identify the damage mechanism and the extent and severity of damage. Examinations shall be scheduled at intervals that consider the type of damage, rate of damage progression, tolerance of the equipment to the type of damage, probability of the NDE method to identify the damage, maximum intervals as defined in codes and standards, extent of previous examination, recent operating history, including IOW exceedances, mock records that may impact inspection plans, RBI assessments, where available, inspection plans shall be reviewed and amended as needed when variables that may impact damage mechanisms and or deterioration rates are identified, such as those contained in inspection reports or mock documents. Risk-based inspection RBI. General RBI can be used to determine inspection intervals and the type and extent of future inspection examinations. A RBI assessment determines risk by combining the probability and the consequence of equipment failure. When an owner user chooses to conduct a RBI assessment, it shall include a systematic evaluation of both the probability of failure and the consequence of failure in accordance with API 580. API 581 details an RBI methodology that has all of the key elements defined in API 580, Section 1.1.1. Probability assessment The probability assessment shall be based on all forms of damage that could reasonably be expected to affect a vessel in any particular service. Examples of those damage mechanisms include internal or external metal loss from localized or general corrosion, all forms of cracking, and any other forms of metallurgical corrosion, or mechanical damage, e.g. fatigue, embrittlement, creep, etc. Additionally, the effectiveness of the inspection practices, tools, and techniques used for finding the potential damage mechanisms shall be evaluated.
Consequence assessment The consequence of a release is dependent on type and amount of process fluid contained in the equipment. The consequence assessment shall consider the potential incidents that may occur as a result of fluid release, the size of a potential release, and the type of a potential release, includes explosion, fire, or toxic exposure. The assessment shall also determine the potential incidents that may occur as a result of fluid release, which may include health effects, environmental damage, equipment damage, and equipment downtime. Documentation it is essential that all RBI assessments be thoroughly documented in accordance with API 580, Section 17. After an RBI assessment is conducted, the results can be used to establish the vessel inspection plan and better define the following. The most appropriate inspection and NDE methods, tools, and techniques. The extent of NDE, for example percentage of vessel to examine. The interval for internal, external, and on-stream inspections. The need for pressure testing after damage has occurred or after repairs, alterations have been completed. The prevention and mitigation steps to reduce the probability and consequence of a vessel failure, e.g. repairs process changes, inhibitors, etc. Frequency of RBI assessments When RBI assessments are used to set vessel inspection intervals, the assessment shall be updated after each vessel inspection as defined in API 580, Section 15. Each time process or hardware changes are made that could significantly affect damage rates or damage mechanisms and any time an unanticipated failure occurs due to a damage mechanism. Preparation for inspection Applicable regulations for example those administered by OSHA, govern many aspects of vessel entry, and shall be followed. In addition, the owner user's safety procedures shall be reviewed and followed. All tools, equipment, and personal protective equipment used during vessel work, inspection, NDE, pressure testing, repairs, and alterations should be checked prior to use. Personal protective equipment shall be worn when required either by regulations, the owner user or the repair organization. Communication Before starting any vessel inspection and maintenance activities, for example NDE, pressure testing, repair, or alteration. Personnel should obtain permission to work in the vicinity, internal or external, from operating personnel responsible for the pressure vessel. When individuals are inside a vessel, all persons working around the vessel should be informed that people are working inside the vessel. Individuals working inside the vessel should be informed when any work is going to be done on the interior or exterior of the vessel while they are inside the vessel. Vessel entry Prior to entering a vessel, the vessel shall be Positively isolated from all sources of liquids, gases, vapors, radiation, and electricity. Drained, purged, cleaned, ventilated, 
and the atmosphere inside it gas tested before it is entered. Procedures To ensure Continuous safe ventilation and precautions Safe egress emergency evacuation of personnel from the vessel should be clear and understood by all those entering the vessel documented prior to any vessel entry records review before performing any of the required api 510 inspections inspectors shall familiarize themselves with prior history of the vessels for which they are responsible review the vessels prior inspection results prior repairs current inspection plan as well as any engineering evaluations and or other similar service inspections review questions question number one the inspection plan should be developed by the answer is b Question number two, RBI can be used to determine Answer is D Question number three RBI assessment determines risk by combining Answer is D Question number 4 The probability assessment Probability of failure assessment shall be based on Answer is D Question number 5 The consequence of failure is dependent on Answer is D Question number 6 After an RBI assessment is conducted, the results can be used to establish the Answer is D. Question number 7. When RBI assessments are used to set vessel inspection intervals, assessments shall be Answer is B. Q 
Question number 8. Before entering into a vessel for inspection the vessel shall be evaluated for safety in accordance to Answer is A. Question number 9. Safety precautions are important in pressure vessel inspection and maintenance activities and regulations govern many aspects of vessel entry and must be followed. In addition, the Answer is B. Question number 10. Before starting any vessel, inspection and maintenance activities personnel should obtain permission to work from. Answer is A. Question number 11. Which the following is the best communication practice when the inspectors are inside a vessel for inspection and maintenance activities? Answer is C. Question number 12. Prior to entering a vessel for inspection, how should the vessel be prepared? Answer is D. Question number 13. Prior to entering a vessel for inspection, what sources shall be isolated for safety? Answer is D. Question number 14. Before carrying out inspection and maintenance activities on a vessel in service, for quiet some time what the inspector should do first. Answer is C. Question number 15. Before performing any of the required API 510 inspections, inspectors shall familiarize themselves with prior history of the vessel and should review the pressure vessels. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.